Let's go! My Fidoli Polydula workers have finally hatched, so stay tuned! But before we start, please like and subscribe and hit the notifications bell if you want to see more videos like this. Three weeks ago, I had caught this Fidoli Polydula queen ant, as you can see here. And now, she finally hatched her first workers. Fidoli Polydula is a species of ant in the genus Fidoli. It is widespread around the Mediterranean. Colonies can be characterized as being monogenous or polygynous, meaning it can be ruled by one or many queens. Both ruling forms can be seen in colonies from the same population. Fidoli Polydula ants typically take around 28 days to produce their first worker, but both my colonies of Fidoli Polydula took a bit less than that. Fidoli Polydula worker ants are typically dark brown to black, with a lighter colored abdomen. The heads of the soldiers are often reddish. Some colonies may exhibit variation with workers showing lighter shades even yellow. These ants are called nanitics as they are the first generation of worker ants produced by the new queen ant. They are typically smaller than the normal workers due to their limited resources available to the queen during the colony's founding stage. This smaller size helps them develop faster allowing the colony to establish itself more quickly. This colony has a fair amount of brood as you can see there. Phytoli polydula produce naked pupa instead of pupa normally. Phytoli polydula can have major workers, also known as soldiers. They are characterized by their disproportionately large heads, which are often bigger than their abdomens. Majors are crucial for defending the colony against threats. They actively patrol and protect their territory. Fidoli Paluda are really a fast growing species and they don't take long to become a very big colony. Now it's time for me to introduce you to my two queen colony. This was actually a four queen colony, but two of the queens have unfortunately passed. And uh, yeah, I did this experiment to see if the colony would become polygynous, but I don't think it worked fully as they killed two queens, but two queens still survived. As you can see, this brood pile is way bigger than the other colonies' brood pile. This is because the four queens had all laid eggs and made the colonies' brood pile even bigger. Then the queen just eliminated most of the other queens, and now all the brood from the other queens still are alive. Wait, pause. I have a feeling that that queen is being attacked. As you can see, she only has five legs, which is a really bad sign. This indicates that the other queen is trying to kill her, or they fought just for dominance or to control the colony. I really hope that these queens survive and will not die or kill each other. As you can see, this is the remains of the other queens, which sadly passed away. I really wanted them to stay alive. Imagine having a four queen colony of Fidoli Palidula. That would be epic, honestly. But this is life and this is what happens in life. As you can see, I have fed them now as this is the fir their first meal. And I gave them some honey a bit on a small bowl that my friend 3D printed for me. The ants don't seem really that interested, but later in the video they will take some, so stay tuned. I fed both colonies, so to be fair, honestly, because I don't want to give a colony more than I'm giving the other one, as that would be really unfair, and I want to see both colonies succeed in growing their numbers. We need a name suggestion for both of these queens and the other queen, and maybe even a name suggestion of the whole colony, the colony 1 and colony 2. So comment down below what you want me to name them. Finally, looks like one of the queens went and checked what was in the feeding dish, and I think she's drinking the honey and she's enjoying it. And this is the queen which is damaged, unfortunately, but at least she is getting some food. I mean, she has to get it herself, but still, she is getting food and she won't starve to death. As you can see now, the other queen is interested in what the queen is eating or what she's doing, but she backs off. But I think this queen will feed the workers, the brood and the other queen, so it will be fine. No need to force the queen to eat. So I fed colony one, as you can see here, and uh, they're not really interested in eating. I mean, it's fine. They're more focused on opening workers and focusing on the brood, you know? As you can see, they hatched a few more workers. I or one more something around that and uh, yeah so basically they're not gonna eat but it's fine as they're hatching the other workers thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed please like and subscribe as it would help me a ton and see you in the next video